Tonight, the biggest egos in poker are hitting the table. The Devilfish, Phil Helmuth, and Tony G. Who will win the battle? I'm the guy to beat. You know, I'm the man. You think of these bracelets <laughs> just fall into my lap? No, I don't. I'm, 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 you can pretend you're a winner. One take me on. No one understands Hold'em in this world like I do right now. Tony G, I mean, the only reason you're invited to the league, to be honest, is your personality. What list are you on in the top 500 in the world? You're good at telling people to ride bikes. Get on your bike. How many years can he believe he's a better player but more unlucky against me? Well, that's the question I want to ask Phil Helm. Tony's so bad, he ships with the three. Just I'm the worst. He knows he's the Keep worst. Keep telling. Am yeah, I getting out of line? Right Give me a warning. If Phil was made out of chocolate, he would have eaten this off years ago, you know what I mean? I mean, have you lost your mind? Seriously. Are you trying to tell the world that you know more about poker than I do? I think he might be jealous of me again. Turn my microphone up. Turn this down if you're not you. If he got a bad beat early on, I think he's had him go. So let's look forward to that, huh? Going into tonight's match, of course, all four of the top of the leaderboard out of action. J.C. Tran, 26 points. He will be ahead no matter what happens tonight. There's going to be big movement in the playoff zone, though. Tony G, Tom Dwan, Andy Black, all in action. And some big points could ensure someone like Tony G's run to the final table. In the relegation zone, I mean, it couldn't be a bigger spot for Helmuth and the Devilfish. One of them has to score big to get right back in the thick of it. And if either one of them grabs the bagel, uh-oh. Over in the green room, most of the players have been here waiting for an hour for two late arrivals, and it doesn't go down well. Very bad traffic. I left eight minutes after you did. Don't ever complain again. Don't ever fucking complain again. Bring it on, fish. We waited for you two hours last year. You ever play one more time and put that duster right on a fucking big fat chin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to mess with me, Fish. Today I feel some pressure. It's about time, too. I hope the wheels don't fall off, that's all. No, I need a win. I'm gambling today. It's a super tanker full of egos coming onto the table. And JC, I think we're going to be in for a lot of fun tonight watching these guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, this should be titled like the bad boys version of the uh, Premier League. <laughs> you can see the chips on the table. Yellow's worth 1,000, blues are two, reds 5,000 each. There's 100,000 in front of every player and 600 k right. I mean, what are you waiting for when you like are playing heads up? Cards coming out. And you mentioned it, JC, that... It seems like that there's some of these players who have not taken the getting points seriously enough, and they've put themselves in a hole because of it. Yeah, um, one of the guys that's actually benefiting from it is probably um, Tom because he uh, he sees that the other players value the points, even, you know, getting two points. I mean, he's attacking them, he's coming at them, and, he's, you know, he's making plays that are making them fold a lot of hands. So he's picking up extra points that way, although he's not he's not finished high yet. Here he is coming straight in the very first hand with the queen eight. And like Tom seems to be a guy who's really convinced that playing a lot of hands and playing these things fast is the right strategy. Yes, in this spot, I believe he's opening with queen eight because he thinks that there's going to be a lot of hands these guys are going to fold just because it's the first hand. And uh, they're going to be, you know, they're going to they're going to all start off tight because they don't want to see their chips go down and, 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 and everyone looking at them to be the first one to bust. Now these two, of course, Dwan and Tony G, like they took each other on in match number one. They got heads up. And Tony played a lot of pots behind Tom, where he just looks like he's just trying to keep the pots small and that sort of thing. Yes, uh, I think that would be the, the best strategy to play Tom, is play small pot with him and uh, in position. And uh, this is what Tony's doing. Tony's not overplaying his ace-king. But uh, it seems like that type of flop, Tony can't really continue on with his ace-king. You know, there's continuation bet might just win him the pot here. And yeah, I mean, if you do slow plays, King, before the, the flop like this, you have to be prepared to give it up, especially against Tom's range. Is that what you think? Definitely, yeah. Once you make, once you just flat call a raise with Ace King in this spot, you can't, you can't go any further with it. You can't, you know, commit yourself to more chips. I mean, Ace King right now is just as good as Jack Ten. So just, I mean, you, you can't unless you're willing to go with it and don't put him on a pair and try to play your Ace High. And he's just called, and do you think this is kind of a call to just sort of reevaluate and see what Tom's going to do on the turn? I mean, well, t Tony's calling here because he thinks that um, Tom's range of hands might be in the middle to high range between like the jack 10 and up. So he, he, 
the only way that Tony believed that he's gonna lose to Dur, uh, Dur Tom Duan here is that Tom has a pair to begin with. So, um, you know, Tony's making a good read right now that he didn't put uh, uh, Tom on hitting this board. Check. And there is sort of this history where in the first match, Tony actually called a lot of very strong hands pre-flop, just cold called behind Tom. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, I, I guess from Tom's point of view, Tony could have like a big pair here even, right? I mean. Yeah, um, Tony's just looking for uh, Tom to overplay some of his hands. So uh, if Tony were to hit an ace or a king here, Tom might try to represent it, and uh, this is where Tony's looking to pick up some extra check, chips. Check. Well, let's go ahead and check, check. I mean, do you think Duan missed a bet there, or is it, is it better <laughs> off just kind of settling <laughs> down there? Well, no, I, I think uh, when Tom open raised and uh, Tony called behind him, he, he didn't put, definitely didn't put uh, Tony on that range. He put to Tony on a, 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 a smaller range, which, which was a... a, a, a a scary board, but Tom let out an information bet, and when yeah, uh, Tony called behind, he, he basically gave up, like thinking that Tony might have hit the board. <laughs> well, either that or he was trying to, he was trying what a lot of us try to do, trap the fast player. If he raises, he doesn't get any more chips. <laughs> Can I raise that? I could. And like you were saying, these guys are a little bit scared of Tom because obviously yeah. he knows they're concerned sure about chips. They're going to try and slow him down with the verbal, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, these guys, no matter how they play, they're not going to stop talking. I mean, they're going to try to represent that they're not scared right now, but a couple of them, I can't say necessarily scared, but they're just not as aggressive and, you know, tighter. Well, second early raise and two pots and Tony G calling behind. Um, and, th and this is because of Tony's points. He can he can kind of do this early. I mean, if he wants to. Yeah, Tony's just using his position right now as an advantage, and also the fact that he can, you know, be more aggressive on on like a dry board. But this is a this is the type of board that Tony might be a little concerned with. But since he hit a pair, he's gonna try to find out with the with the bet right here. It's a huge flop for Andy Black. I mean, a lot of guys would have checked raised there, wouldn't they? Have? Yes, yes, definitely. I would have checked raised for sure. But I mean, points are important right now, and Black doesn't want to overplay his hand. And, and uh, you know, he's afraid that Tony might have an ace. And uh, I think checking is fine here, too, because, you know, if, if, if Tony doesn't have an ace, uh, Andy has him in bad in a bad, really, really bad spot. So, you know, you just want want him to do the betting, and it's, it's okay to check call here. I tell you what, if the club doesn't come, can Tony win it? Can Tony win this with another bullet? Wow, that's, uh, that's a pretty... Uh, Check. Check. Wow, interesting. <laughs> it, it was a pretty sick river, wasn't it? Because actually yes. they've got the same hand now. Yes. That wasn't a good river for uh, Andy, but uh, I think Tony was was satisfied with that river just because, uh, you know, if if Andy did have a good <laughs> kicker with his jack, the ace of play, really that's the reason why he checked Tony. behind. Well played. <laughs> Big smile from Tony. It kind of it feels like he almost got himself in it. Like, uh, yeah. He was he was a bit more concerned with the ace here too, so that's why he checked behind. There were a lot of ways for Andy to win that pot, and only one to split it. Really. Yeah, but with the look on Andy's face, he seemed like he's pretty happy the fact that he, he chopped the pot and yeah. didn't lose it. Ego's always flying, JC, but helmet. I mean, three points and Dwan on his left. He has to be careful. Well. So it's probably going to fold a lot of hands today. I mean, he might he might be Tony here well. for another hour and a half and still have about the same stack, just folding, 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 well. folding, maybe picking up blinds here and there. He won't be folding this hand. So. Cool. And uh, cool. what is his what is his tactic going to be with Dwan on his left? I mean, is he is he going to try? Oh my gosh. Well, he limped in, in this spot with ace queen, um, hoping that that Duan would try to uh, raise here, raise the limp here um, on the button. But uh, it looked like a. Uh, well, I was moving in on Durr. <laughs> Tom wants to play a a, 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 a flop here with his hand, but now that Andy's raising on the big blind, it's gonna be interesting. Please move in, Durr. There's three players in the hand. You shouldn't be saying that. Why not? Five. Encourage an action whenever there's three players in the hand. Heads up. I agree. It's not a big deal. You ever say anything nice to me, Annie? It's, one of the it's just the rules, you know? No, that's it's fine. It's not a question fair. of being not nice. It's just the no, rules. No, you're right. Yeah, Did you ever, you're right. Now I'll ask you a question and see how you handle yourself. Do you ever say anything nice to me? Regularly. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't exactly nasty. 
Huh? My girlfriend thinks you look like a chipmunk. <laughs> there you go. That's, there you go. that's, that's what I'm used to. I don't think that's being fair on the chipmunks, you know. I mean, you get some nice looking chipmunks. That could be a problem. Now, is Helmuth good, away to, good enough to get away from this? Right. Yes. Uh, see, Helmuth wow. is playing his hand not to overplay any board. Way. Even if it came ace high, I don't think Helmuth's going to put in a raise if Andy let out. Phil Helmuth, he probably is the most successful poker player of all time. And he was pathetic in the Premier League last year. And I'm not sure, did he learn anything from it? Or is he, is he married to the tactics which have been so successful for, uh, for him in winning big field tournaments against weaker players. You know, these aren't kiddies down the street. You know, these are some of the greatest players in the world. If you have a weakness, it will be found. Race to He's going to be doing a lot of that tonight, Tom Dwan, opening up for a race. See, surprising there. And he's folding uh, king nine two there early in the stage. It's, it's perfectly fine to play that hand in position. But you know he's just sticking with the big hands now, just trying to pick up some points. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just setting up. I mean, these guys are actually wow. letting Tom take That's charge, good. aren't they? Yeah. Wolf Phil right here, he's just looking to flop a set way. or he's folding. He's, he's not going to make any plays at, at the board if the four's not out there. I check it. Go ahead, Derby. You take this one. He's checked in the dark here, JC. Pretty typical with someone with a small pair. They're usually checking in the dark because, you know, they're either going to hit a set and check raise or they're going to hit or don't hit it and check fold. Rarely are they going to lead out. 8,000. And this one's over, is it? Yes, pretty much over. Continuation bet by Tom. Um, seems kind of familiar here. And uh, Phil's going to talk a little bit. He's going to vote. Cold fold. King high, and I have a medium pair. Plus. Good luck. Medium pair. Medium pair's going to be. Is it better than King I high? I want to know what's a small pair to him. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe it. I fold it again. Hit the set on a turn. Take off one more Both of you is dead. Yeah, yeah. You called the you bluff on the four six. six. It came queen queen nine. You called the race. With I four mean, six when he had three you know, in this heat oh, right now, well, you've you probably got the three guys who feel like they've been the unluckiest so far. Really. Everybody feels like down they've down been the unlucky. I mean, uh, but I didn't have don't you think the fear is starting to creep in? Where if they don't have a good finish this match, like the final table is a long way away. I think that's the case with the two out of the four guys. I mean, even if they finish fourth to fifth, I mean, it's still a lot of pressure on them to gain a lot of points. And you know, no I mean, I think four of the four of the five guys really feel like they need to finish top two to uh, to have a shot and be comfortable. <laughs> That's not the point, Fish. The point is the point is some people. Phil has lived in on the button some here. Some people lie even though they know they're going to get caught later. Top pair. Even though it's all just even though it doesn't make any difference. Nobody's interested. Yeah, even though nobody really cares. And uh, Andy just calling there. Tom's bet is that is that a reasonable way to play? I mean. Yes, like, uh, you know, um, Andy's playing his hand safe right here. He doesn't want to overplay any hand, especially against their, who's capable of re-raising big or, or all in right here. So, uh, you know, I think Andy's Andy's safe style right now is going to be it's going to be pretty effective, especially against Durr. When you won your first world championship, World Series of Tournament. Going well for Andy Black. Oh, you don't want to Feels like he lost two big races against you, he was telling me before this heat, JC. Are we, are we, are I think he's pretty happy to see the back of you in this one. <laughs> yes, yes. But I was, I was talking to Andy. I said, against me, a race would be me having an underpair uh, and him having an overpair. That would be a race, you know, with my luck and the way I run. That would be a race. For everyone else, you're probably three and a half, four to one favorite. But against me, it's going to be a race. Except you and People don't get that. that was actually a serious question. Tom says he's already <laughs> tired of the talk. Yeah, he wants to watch his headphones. <laughs> yeah, but I got more than you have, right? Sorry? You have a smaller logo. Have you learned the power of compromising people? I don't know. They gave me this. I'm learning something. Tony, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'm sorry for your trouble. I'm the pressure on the lady. Dave, you're showing your cards. Well, you can, you can have them. Pass. Still, I only show the bad ones. Pass. Let me try six, the six, raise six, thing. Six? six? Okay, you talked me into it. Six thousand total. Yeah. 
It's like, it's a good price. This is a bit of a well, knockdown for Helmuth. He's this is a little bit different from him, isn't it? Yes, I mean, a little bit of surprising. You know, he limped last hand with the 9-5 of diamonds, and he's raising here with king-9. I like the raise here with king-9 a lot better than limping with the 9-5, because the 9-5 of diamonds is such a hard hand to play, because you don't know if you want to hit the plus draw, you don't know if you want to hit top fair, and if it's a straight draw, it's definitely a gut shot. So the king-9 here is not so bad. And if Helmuth misses the I guess it'll depend on what the flop is, but do you think he might make a continuation bet here? Yeah. Um, on this board, maybe. See, Phil is representing a big hand since he's raising, and uh, he knows that Durr most likely doesn't have an ace behind, just smooth calling. So he's gonna he's gonna continuation bet majority of the time. He's pretty happy right now. Well, I think it might be the first time that Helmuth has has actually won with the worst hand no, no, in this Premier League. Dark. I don't know. He's someone I'm gonna have to float and do all kinds of creative things against. Durr is capable of pushing it all on drawing dead against me, or at least with ace seven. I know. Um, that's my special. I mean, yeah. just, you can just see by uh, Phil's body language. I mean, he's not even paying any attention to Roland. It's all Durr, isn't it? Yes, he's really concerned with Durr. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure that he he hated when he saw that Durr drew the seat directly to his left. Durr's going to be the one that's going to give him the most problems. I know. That's because I run good, though. Yeah, with the part of being a hooker back. Well, you would have finished last time. Tony G and the devil fish in the blinds. All I know is cross books are always open. I check. Who do you think is going to win this pot? I think uh, there's a good chance that Tony sure might win it because uh, Devilfish yeah, is except to looking to check down, kind of giving up. And Tony's going to just stab at it because he knows that he's not going to win with five high just by checking. What is the devil fish called here with? Very Nothing. interesting. Does he does he think he has six seven of spades? I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it, it'd be amazing if he gets checked on the river and he wins with seven high. What <laughs> game? You're saying it's entirely possible he's misread his hand. <laughs> I mean, there's not really any poker games. What happened? I checked. Oh, he well, he's floating uh, to bluff here. <laughs> but he's bluffing with the best hand. He doesn't know it. Whatever. I'm sure there's a lot of games you don't know the rules to. I know it's not a huge pop, but it sends a pretty strong message out, doesn't it? Yeah. It'd be amazing if you checked and won with seven high. It's like he's come here to play anyway. Welcome back to Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. They've played 11 hands, and uh, Andy Black, the chip leader, has picked up a couple of hands. Yes, he's hit a few hands early, picked up kings, uh, made two pairs against Durr, and, uh, you know, he's in good shape. Well, so boring. No, I mean, Duan's <laughs> bottom of the pack. The, the way Durr plays, <laughs> that's going to happen to him a lot. I mean, we've seen him go up, down, up, down. He's going to get knocked out first a few times in this Premier League, don't you think? Yeah, that's his style of play. He's going to accumulate a lot of chips early, or he's going to be out. I mean, his style is just hyper aggressive and attack the players that are weak. And right now, he feels like three or four of the players at the table are weak because they just they just need to play tight because they they have no other choice. Started went right to high limit horse. Those games were fantastic. G on the button and right. raising with nothing. And this is not a huge hand for the fish. This is the naked ace. Deuce. He's made a re-raise. I mean, how, look at that. Insta-fold for Roland with the ace jack. Wow, very surprising here. You might have saved me that, Tony. Fish don't always have to have too much to I knew it was so exactly a deuce. Had to be a deuce. <laughs> yeah, but you, oh, you know, you, you know, I'd be good. That's going to make Roland pretty sick, isn't it? Roland's actually thinking what well, everyone else is thinking, that Devilfish is not going to be fooling around because he needs points. But I guess <laughs> Devilfish is like doing the reverse psychology. I'm about two deuces, anyway. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that when the blinds get up higher, Devilfish is probably not going to make moves like that. I mean, I know it's only been two hands, but is there some kind of indication, JC, that the Devilfish reads Tony really well? Too early for that? Yeah, it's hard to say. I, it, I mean, it, it's a lot easier when you're directed to Tony's left. Tiny's been blasting. But, uh, I've been blasting <laughs> I guess he's going with the, the read that everyone thinks he's going to play solid, so he's take, using that as an advantage. Wow, Tony. Yes. Raise from Duan. Call from Tony. Call from Helmuth in the big blind. There's a couple action flops for this uh, setup. I check it. Check. I believe we're gonna we're probably gonna see a turn card here. 
a little salmon there. This is where it gets interesting. What do you think Helmuth? What? You know she's Helmuth might do one off there. Just Can't see him going further than the turn if he doesn't improve. I mean, what would the positive and negative of the check raise be here with his hand? I mean, is um, that, is that I don't think it's capable of him because it, it, the last thing you want to do is check raise Dura without a hand. His Dura is capable of playing back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have seven high, so. Fold call, fold call, seven fold high? Fold, fold, fold. Yeah. Stretch, Get that one. Shows the five. That's a good card, right? You guys love it about a queen play? You're on record as saying I shouldn't have even bet the river. Now, all 11 yeah. other Premier League players said I should no, have bet. Don't. He no, said I should have no, snap called the no, raise all in, actually. No, they don't. I can't say how you don't bet. I you didn't say that. I said I would have bet. Well, it's no, because if he's got an ace, why yeah. it's Andy, What's the difference? Do you understand what happened? Five. If he's got an ace yeah. and there's three out, say, why is he going to give a free go out and out? Why Let's would he do that? Different. You just got personal fish for some reason. I don't yeah. know what's your I just problem. said my opinion. Pass, no, no, no. You, you were like in my the commentary opinion. box. No, it's my opinion on it. Let me I raise I don't up think just you a little bit. More or less. I raise. Raise. Let's pot it. 5,000 more, seven total. Jack nine again, Dur. You just get the feeling that Helmut, he keeps raising, but he does not want to play pots against Tom, does he? You're going to let me run you over? This is ridiculous. Come on, man. You're the supposed to one that's supposed to run me over, kid. You've got three points, Phil. You haven't won anyone over. Not even in the car. Dur is just Drives dying to find a hand to re raise <laughs> Phil here. I guess I can't give me that much credit for being on that level. Even when you're in the NASCAR, out of control, you never manage to run anyone over. Oh. All I know is, Phil, is uh, as I just say it as I see it. And I've never set out by the body. Oh, yet. fish. <laughs> when you're in the commentary box and you see the whole cards, you you're, you you act like it. You always say, oh, I would have done this. Because you can see the hands. You're, you're, that's why you, that's your weakness as a commentator. I love you because you're the funniest commentator. You have the most personality. I love it. But you, you don't call it the right way. No, actually, I call the hands a lot of times before. Yeah, you know, whatever. You know, yeah, whatever, yeah. That's what everybody else said about you, so I'm just telling you what the opinion well, is. You don't want to wear what they all say about you. Well, they bring it on, man. I mean, um, you know. And if, sorry, any, if all like of these it. guys agree you should bet at the end with your flush, then in my opinion, then none of them can play fucking poker. Right, all so, so all 11 yeah. of us can't play. Yeah, well, but the know. ironic thing is when I catch you later, like betting in the same situation, I won't bring it up to you. You'll take a look at the score sheet, man. Eight. <laughs> Eight thousand. He's definitely playing a lot, sort of more standard kind of poker Amazing tonight, Phil. You know, raising Sunday before the flop, betting after the flop. Yes, I think the first couple levels are the only levels that's going to allow him to do that. Once the blinds uh, kick up a little bit, Phil's going to snug up a bit. I mean, has he asked you about this? No? Yeah, of course. No, no, no. Just said that. This is one great thing about Helmuth. He's, go. he's, he's got so much confidence that well, he's, he can bounce <laughs> back, <laughs> can't he? I mean, uh, and you think he's right? he can bring his best game to the table. Yeah, that's what makes him Phil Helmuth. You know, he, he rarely gives up, even when he's low or, you know, getting beaten in a bunch of ways. I mean, he's always going to try to fight back. I would bet. I would bet. I would bet. That's Yeah. I think everyone would bet. You would bet, right? Cool. How many Let's times? Go, guys. I think we shouldn't Pass. talk about poker. Little lift yeah. from the Come devil on. fish. Let's talk about something else. Really but how many times? Out of, how many times out of a million would you bet there? Oh, let's go, let's go. We're all losers unless we've got a lot of money that we want from poker. Well, you'll bring this is a limped flop, JC, and I mean, a lot of guys yeah. could have oh, raised fish, if they wanted to. Stupid. Yeah, yeah everyone's got pretty much playable hands, though. Now you're going to dig yourself a little bigger grave. So go ahead, dig it. some cash games if you're such a great poker player. Oh, so it's about that now? Oh, you want to talk about the hand? Game? Are you telling that? You want to talk about the hand? Are you trying to sell the you know more about poker than right, I do? so you want to, so you want to talk about that? What are you trying to say? <laughs> because you said something stupid. Oh, no, I said exactly how it was. You said something stupid, you know. And you know when I told you know people it. in the green room, they all agreed with me, so I don't know you've been asking. What are we actually talking about? Exactly. Yeah, I don't know, you're supposed <laughs> to know. <laughs> You're also kind of this is this know. the first time Devilfish and well, Helmuth have been so at the I same table, and I, I think the they sort of, they've got a lot, a lot of uh, stuff to catch up on. <laughs> oh, yes, they've been waiting for this yeah. moment, true, the last couple of heats. Now, Tony G checked the, the 10, and Devilfish has got the flesh draw. I mean, should anybody be betting here, or is it ha they happy to keep the pot cheap? I mean, well, it's tough when it's five okay. ways. I mean, right, flopping top. Top pair with a with a, a pair on board, 
and two diamonds out there is not something you really want look for but uh i guess he's he's firing out here just to find out more of information bet to see who's you know who's capable of having eight who's capable of having the draw i mean andy has to know there's absolutely no way his hand can be good here it's been a bet in two calls right i mean i don't believe you don't. Stupid, bullshit. You know you're wrong. You don't no, even want to talk no, about it anymore. Bullshit. People can't make one comment about you playing an hour without you getting up on your own about it. Well, that's what you're thinking. Of. Well, you did. So Devilfish you needs the diamond. It, and there you go. I mean, Just nobody's that strong. Could okay. somebody Check bluff me. this here if they want? I believe it's gonna be checked down, and uh, go. best hand's gonna win. That wins. Yeah. a few outs again. That's the Bill Brunson hand. That's what, they, that's what they say in all the home games. He's happy to take it very well. Part. You I played it really well, didn't I? <laughs> you didn't give anyone a shot to, to that draw you or nothing. I, I don't know. You could have done more with it. You didn't know where you were. Maybe. You didn't know where you were. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. It was five five ways that part went. Five hands. You're a tactical genius if you can pick up those five way parts. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I wish it was like in level four. Ten two is not your hand. Uh, it would have been right. Ten two is not nice. your hand. If you're level four, though, I would have probably raised before the, the pocket threes. He would have folded the six, four, five, maybe. Well, you played it the best. I mean, uh, that's the <laughs> highlight. You saved. Folded around to Dwan. If you raise, five, you, how much would you lose? There? No you'd surprise. Lose he stuck in five. Yes, and then you lose, get nice. rid. You know. <laughs> it's true. Now, oh. It just feels like the Devilfish might have re-raised there. Tony's decided to call. Oh. I, I, I mean, do you agree with that or? Uh, um, Devilfish have, have re-raised a couple times, so I think he's gonna he's gonna stay away from that player for a while until he picks up a big hand, and uh, especially against two Check. dangerous guys with uh, Durr and Tony G here, it's probably not the smartest play. Check. Check top pair. That's pretty pretty trappy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, when you flop top pair big, um, check. you know, checking it's not so bad. You're you're playing it safe. It's check gonna be out. tough for uh, anyone to hit, you know, draw out on you with that with that dry board unless they hit it straight. But I mean, the three when the three of spade comes, it's pretty much a blank. Is 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 Devilfish? Is he gonna put the break on here, or is there is there gonna be a chance you think for him to take this with a bet on the river? It, it's not. Good um, yeah, that, that card's probably going to shut him check, down. King. And sort of like uh, like you did a lot in your, your heats. I mean, Dwan found a way to kind of maximize check value the there that was just by sort of letting people play, betting to him. Right. Yeah, right. um, he's, he's, he's playing pretty much the reverse <laughs> of, uh, you know, Easy, like raising a lot without anything, and then uh, when he hits, he just he just let the other players bet. And you know, right now it's 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 working out well. Sometimes it's a bit dangerous when you know the players don't bet and they and they catch up. But uh, it doesn't seem like you know he's checking there to overplay it on the turn of the river. There's been action, but not a huge spread in chips. Dwana back up just above even, and it's Roland who's basically played no hands. Who's the short stack? Yeah, it's, there's been a lot of talking, but. Not a lot of chips moving. I fold. There's something about the the structure with the the bagel, the the zero points for the six. It makes it sort of a mini bubble for the first yes, player to Yes, it is. It's actually a bubble. I mean, especially when you have three points. I mean, two more. It's gonna help. Can't see my haircut. You're almost doubling your points by just moving up a spot right here. I think your last time out, I mean, you only won two pots and you got to the heads up. It was yeah, amazing. I was, yeah, I was very fortunate. I mean, there was a lot of action at my last heat. And, uh, you know, I, I just came out and I, I, I switched up a little bit, played more solid. And won two small pots and, and, and got it down to heads up. It was, and Peter just busted everyone. And that was helped me out a lot. That right there, I mean, Devilfish is recognizing, I think, that, that Roland, uh, you can take, you can steal from him early. I mean, is it a, is it a, uh, they're going to exploit that with the wolf? Yes, right now I think everyone's already noticing that Roland is is the tightest player at the table right now. 
Dirk's probably the last guy at the table yeah. anyone's going to make a move at pre flop. Obviously, he made a huge move on you in his last match with the 10 5, I think, pre flop. He, he kind of felt like he's been holding over you uh, in big tournament pots and big cash game pots lately. Um, and that, that was, he was going to, he has a psych psychological edge. I mean, did that, does that kind of stuff go through your head as well? Well, you know, I, I was folding a lot to a lot of re raises uh, in that heat, and uh, I, I noticed that. Tom saw that and noticed it also, and I knew that it was coming sooner or later, but um, Tom did it mainly because the other two or three players were short stacked and they were, and they needed points, so they're, they're not, there's going to be a huge range of folding hands there. So he, all he had to do was to fade me, and, and he's going to pick up some chips, but, you know, I woke up with that hand, and it was unfortunate for him. Wolf has made this a mini raise from the button, and... Uh, I mean, Tom could do this with a lot of hands because, uh, like you said, the way these guys look at Roland right now, or yeah, Roland right now, he seems really, really frustrated. <laughs> like nothing's working for him. The men nice raised, form. the limping. Uh, he hasn't like won a pot yet. It's a donation. <laughs> Spicing the pot. I mean, he's playing tight. It's almost like he either has to start playing really loose or ultra tight, right? Because they're just they're picking on him. Yeah, I think they're just all waiting for the first guy to bust, and then they're gonna loosen up. But it's gonna be hard for anyone to bust the way everyone's folding. First level's over, JC. What do you make of it? Really interesting level. I mean, Roland folded his way to shortest stack, and you know, Tom Duan came in aggressive, and uh, Andy Black hitting a few hands moved up to the chip lead. Welcome back. You know it's been loud down there, and we're having fun up here in this Premier League and all these players were on record saying that they would have better, they would have moved in, they would have called the re-raise. No, they got, they captured guys. Anybody going to change gears for two and 4,000, or is it all about waiting for the first guy to get um, I believe Helmet and Devilfish might slow down just a bit. He is? Uh, I thought we were even so far. Tom's still going to stay, uh, remain aggressive. I think Tony G might get up a uh, notch here, because... Now that the blinds are up, uh, he believe that the other three or four players are going to slow down a bit. I don't know what's going on. Did you say he was winning off him? Now, the Wolves made this well, to 10. Um, and, like, yeah, I mean, I just wonder what, what Roland's thinking right now. If, if Dwan is, is going to, you know what I mean? As soon as he's going to have to, he knows he's going to have to draw a line at some point, right? Yeah, I think he he's anticipating a, a raise from Dwan here. And uh, he's, he might be willing to call or even make a move at a re-raise. But um, he's a bit worried right now. But I think I think Tom's more likely going to just call here than re-raise because I think he has position. He wants to, he wants to put out the correct amount to where he can get valuable information yeah. if Oh wow! In? Interesting. All in. <laughs> that is amazing. That that's be a good time. that's taken oh, the re the re-raise away from Roland. He's kind of. It's almost like he's decided that. Uh, it's not a good day wow. for Roland. He doesn't want to have to call the Roland all in. Pass. He's taking it away from him. He's getting cleaned Here out. Here we go. Well, I think he, he, he's kind of anticipating the fact that if he did re-raise and Roland's gonna move all in, he, he's probably going to call so he's better off moving all in but it's so dangerous to have you know two or three other stacks to your left that has a lot of chips also very interesting it'd be it would be an easier fold if i hadn't seen if i hadn't seen tom do it with two threes yesterday it's a really tough spot because he doesn't have a lot of points he really needs some points this match so i don't know if he's willing to race for it wow that's a real big for the game it's good for the game two eights We'll just we really two Sixth again, the Wolf. Yeah, the Wolf shouldn't panic here. 72,000 is still a lot of chips. <laughs> you know, JC, I mean, Roland was in the commentary box last time saying, you know, what a message Phil has been sending out to this field that he's bluffable, they know he's going to fold. Does Roland got to worry about his own table image in this Premier League? I mean, um, right now at this exact heat, he, he definitely need to show them something. That, that basically tells him, you guys can't run me over. Because right now, it seems like anyone can run him over. And you know what? It, it's, I don't think it's a smart idea to let guys like Tom know that you just folded a pair of eights there. You know, if, if you're going to if you're gonna decide on a hand like that, you know, make it quick, you know. You know, don't let them know that you're weak. Don't, don't, let, don't, don't let them know that you're capable of folding, you know, eights are better here. I mean, eights or nines in that spot. Yeah, he looks like he's about two feet high right now, rolling the wolf. I mean, he's, you know, he's not standing tall. It's a tough spot against Dirk. I'm saying anybody else you could help you out, too. Anyway, uh, oh my gosh. 
Dwan's raised this pot with queen okay. seven. Devilfish has him dominated. And look at this flop. If Devilfish did not play his hand safe, he's going to be in a lot of trouble because it's hard to give Dur, you know, respect for any hand here. I mean, the king queen seems so strong against Dur's range. But, I, like, you know, my style here is just to check call. If they have a seven, you lose minimum. They, If, if he doesn't, you know, you, you get him to bluff. That flop will put you on seven, king, when you're raised. <laughs> How much? 13. I mean, Devilfish is giving some information away by saying, you know, I, I put you on a 7 when you raise free flop. Basically, tell him, tell him that I don't have a 7. All right. I mean, nice. right now he's 19. overplaying it, which is going to be, he's going to he's gonna trap yeah. himself. Yeah, right. Is Devilfish going to go out first in another game? Well, you know what? Devilfish is the type of player that can check raise here as an information raise, so he might. Say if if Tom moves all in, he might he's capable of folding here too. So, cool. Oh wow, interesting. This is danger for the fish. Is that the old smooth coast to take it off me on the temple? And uh, this pot's already big now. This pot's big already, JC. Yes, eighty-six thousand a pot. It's kind of it's kind of hard for double fish. I'm sure Roland and Elmuth and Andy Black right now is just just rooting for double fish to go bust here. I don't think I've got enough to fold if you do any moves, by the way. Let me just count this. I mean, what kind of options has the Devilfish got here? Is it check call? Is it all in? Is it check fold? I mean, I mean, against several of the players, you can actually check fold. Against, against Tom, it's tough because Tom is, is so capable of floating here. That's his, you know, Tom is so aggressive. He's, he's vulnerable to bluff a lot. And, it is. I mean, if if Devilfish busts out here, it's very very unfortunate for him. I'll tell you what, how when this hand is over, the Devilfish is gonna go through the roof. Check. Oh wow, mm. check. He's he's pulling the trap. He's gonna go for it all in the river. He's going huh? for it all. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's pretty sick. That if if there's a card for Devilfish to go broke, that's it right there. If Devilfish doesn't go broke here, it'll be a victory for him at this stage, right? Yes. Yes. He is going broke, though, isn't he? 15,000. That's a really small bet. A very a defensive bet. I'm all in. All He's in. all in. Oh, baby, I call, I guess. I got the house. <laughs> Look at this close here again, man. Wow. Wow, well, tough one for double fish. Game. King, queen, queen, seven, and she finds a fucking seven, seven, <laughs> king flopper. Where's the map? What? I mean, Sorry? this kid's unbelievable. Yeah, I guess I played it better. Hold on, Kathy. More fucking time. Man! What a deck. It's just been like this for him. I nearly re Wow, before. he's trying to run over you, fish. And he just spiked the perfect yeah, miracle. Yeah, that's so sick. I, I can't Why These would These guys are showing sympathy for Devilfish, but deep down, they're, they're pretty satisfied. I nearly raised before the flop, but they, they, I you know, they, 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 they moved up on the points, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's tough for Devilfish. But, you know, when you're when you're playing a tournament to, a, to build up points, you know, and, and someone busts out, you're, you're satisfied that you pick up points. You know, the sympathy there is just you show respect for the guy. He is guaranteed to be bottom of the league now. Dave Devilfish. He's trying to run over the fast player. His Premier League has not been a good place for him, JC, and he's probably going to be just struggling to make the playoffs from here on. He's just absolutely blessed. You know, I can see why he wins millions on lines. He raises with king six, he hits the king. He raises with queen seven, he comes seven, seven, king. The absolute perfect kill. I don't know what the odds are of me having king, queen, him having queen seven, and then coming seven, seven, king. I'm guessing it's, I don't know. I mean, it's got to be massive. You know? And it just happens here all the time to me. So, I don't know. It's scary stuff. <laughs> Devilfish bagel. Tom Dwan has slipped into the lead, five left. And Helmut's giving him an ear bashing. You think I won 11 world championships because I never made a call? That's not what I said. Wow. All I said was I made a comment I shouldn't have. Well, I'm glad you have so little respect for my game. I just, I'm waiting for that to translate. And this limp on the button, I mean, DeWolf has, 
has been limping and gotten raised by by both Helmuth and Dwan. You didn't hear what I said at all. I was just saying it. Oh, whatever. I don't want to get into it because I gave away something that I shouldn't have. Yeah, let's fine. Get into it. You know, we don't. You know, we don't want you to teach us. I did. I know I couldn't do that. I do. I'm listening. I know I couldn't do that. <laughs> it's impossible. Learn. Learn. It's a great gift to be able to learn. Education is a great gift. Made that a little bit. Action on yeah. Phil. You know, I'm spending all my life bottom on the bottom Philosopher told me. <laughs> yeah. Come from a Seven thousand a little feeler. It's, it's, it's an amazing transformation. It's, it's a good example. Of Big flop. Anyone can do well in life. It, you <laughs> are. You are. You are an example of that. I mean, not knowing what Street Helmuth has, do you think he might want to raise here and just see in case Helmuth's it's got the kind of hand he wants to put a lot of chips in? No, because you know, when you raise here, there's a good chance that Phil is going to fold because you can't really put him on an ace in this spot. And if he does have a nine, he's strong and dead. So you rather him you rather him just keep firing out. I mean, top two is, is such a monster right now with this board. 14,000. By the way, I never found out what you had the other day when you had a, when I had ace four in the big one and I raised and you moved in. <laughs> Hard to put someone in the hand when they just limp on the button. And, uh, you know, even if they had a seven, eight, you know, are you willing to call the, the bet on the river if, if they if they did bet it? That one's over. Roland's starting to feel a lot better about folding those eights, isn't he? Wow, I'm just gonna keep flopping my pairs and make me lose. I don't think so. Not today. Today I'm gonna nail somebody. It's unbelievable. I played 140 hands. I've got one good trap in 140 hands. If you're like a lower grade. And you grade. start again, you start again, and you move up through all the levels again. It's like being too good to eat. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's just a few, few creatures can do that, right? And I never win. <laughs> Look at these guys. Everything is funny. Everything is worth laughing. I mean, uh, the devil fish got knocked out. I'll tell you what. Yeah, everyone's loosened up as far yeah. as just, you know, talking wise. I mean, they're. they're they're not Whoa. kneeling each other anymore. They're, they're, they're like, they're all happy. <laughs> cool. I thought you were going to. Okay. Do you think we can go through this entire Premier League without Tom Dwan ever giving anyone a walk? <laughs> the small I line. would like to say there's probably a 5% chance. <laughs> and if he's ever going to give anyone a walk, it might be me to his left with a, a mountain of chips. <laughs> can I bet less? <laughs> I don't want to bet less now. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, he accidentally overbet. Right. We got 13 into 8. Let me it worked. Uh, okay. You did something sneaky, like a 7 5. So. Was it an accident? I believe so. Oh. He was playing with Tom a lot. Uh, yeah, he he, he, he <laughs> rarely <laughs> makes an uh, oversized okay, bet. Okay. I mean, <laughs> you could have possibly and he must have grabbed the wrong chip or something. Sure. Well, I couldn't think that big. Devilfish keeps, you know, saying how big other people are, but he's getting an impressive levels. collection of bagels. He's <laughs> got enough bagels to open a bakery. Does he have three? He's been pretty unlucky from what I've seen. You know, you know what three I Three seasons, three straight seasons. Three, I, I've, I've seen him. I've seen him. I've seen him. I've seen him take cooler after cooler after cooler and lose every coin flip in three yeah, seasons. Just now as well. Just I mean, he had the best hand. Uh, Eleven to four. On the flock. Oh, on the flock. <laughs> right, so Going in. Yeah, the flock. Going in. Yeah, yeah. They should have given Pass. him the money right then. Total of. <laughs> I'm sure you would have got 10,000, I believe, four plus six. Oh, wow. What's this gonna might, this yeah. might be a classic all in here. What would have happened with the king queen? If you had it. It was just a question of if Tony wanted to play fast or play slow, right? Now the chips have to go in? Or? Yeah, I, I believe uh, Tony had below what he started with. So, uh, and with uh, Dur raising on the button, two jacks is pretty much an automatic re raise. I believe we're going to see an all in here. Oh, okay. So you want to make fun of him. But is there any ex any reason for Tom to just call here? I mean, probably all. Well, you know, you, if you do call here, you, you're going to have to pretty much put Tony on a, on, on, on a, an automatic bet on no matter what the flop is. So you don't want to talk yourself out of a, out of, out of folding. Oh, here it goes. Yeah. You're saying if Tom had called, I mean, th th there would have been a chance of him actually losing the pot with the best hand, like uh, yes. if, 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 if uh, Tony had like a lower ace yes, or something. Yes, yes. So, 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 so,
This is going to have big implications for the point standings because Tony has the most points in this heat right now. Oh, there goes Dave. Bike. <laughs> the bike's out. <laughs> How much you, you know, even, the, even though these guys don't like to see Tom with all the chips, they're pretty happy to see another player plus. They're moving up on points. Right, and with Tony having uh, the 12, you know, uh, now he's going to have 14. It's he's not he's not going to be out of touch. Thank you. Your time. Thank you. <laughs> no, 14 points is still uh, still above average, I believe, yeah. at this point. So. Yeah. With who? But Dwan's yeah. gonna have like half the chips in play now. Yes, or, I mean yeah. if these guys don't start waking up with him, he the might have all the chips. Too, so you just like to say here, you did not bet him that he was gonna win it in 30 hands, right? Because no, because I I know he's capable. <laughs> and the thing is, even if I if the bet was a good bet, I mean I'm gonna win $100 versus risking to lose 5,000. So <laughs> he's no 50 to one shot now, Tom Dwan. <laughs> he's got 321,000 and running over the table. Welcome back to Premier League Poker. Four on this table. Next hand? player out. Oh, really? I mean, Guaranteed. Three yeah. points. Well, three handers are supposed to. Helmuth is a guy who, like, he, yeah. he, he, he hates to actually to stick all his chips in if he doesn't have to. But there's situations well, that you just, it's just the right thing to do, right? <laughs> yes, there's, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 those are the almost the no brainer spots right there. Uh, Andy Black has raised this to 10,000. Cool. And. This is not a situation where Dwan, he doesn't really care two about two his cards, does no, he? No, he's just looking to, to see a dangerous flop and I'll play Andy. Yeah. Because of that, should Andy, well, he's got an ace here. I was just thinking, but should he check, should he check more often if he misses or? Um, no, I mean, I think it's worth putting in check. one check. continuation oh. bet and then see what happens. Um, after that, you can, you can check down, but uh, right now he's playing it safe. 10,000. And he's the kind of guy, JC, who in this Premier League, he doesn't often, because of the way he plays, he doesn't play a lot post flop, but he can play post flop, can't he? I mean, yeah, yeah. He I actually, I actually think right now the his <laughs> safe style play it's working out, especially with guys like Tom with all the chips. I mean, you don't really want to fire on the, the flop and get face a raise and now you got to face yeah, two more streets of betting and you know yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much all your chips so <laughs> he's checking the flop to save one street of betting and i mean he did flop top fair and ace it's kind of hard for someone to catch over card to that um i think if tom were to lead on a turn uh and and he's has no shot of raising there he's just gonna call the whole way down they've all sat up like oh, they've been told off in school haven't cool. they oh yeah yeah, I'm mean just the blind. Teacher's blind with the ruler. It's a good play, right? Raise 10,000. I'd love to raise the under the gun. So this is going 400. Picking on my small blind, how you think I'm a weak, exploitable player? Any ace right now is automatic for Tom to raise in any spot. Oh, Phil Helmuth with his famous hand. The hand he won the World Series of Poker with, uh, JC. And is, is this a decision for Dwan, or what sort of decision is it? Um, depending on how much Seven Bill eight. has left, you know, Tom is capable of calling. Call. Just because, call quick. He, just because he values an ace right now, and this is four-handed, an ace there. is pretty strong. But I mean, the eight also helps. Eight eight He's probably hoping that Bill has a smaller. This is what I waited for. <laughs> Hello, Phil. About the game. Unlucky. <laughs> he just gave me the chip lead. It'd be interesting to see an ace in the flop, see how Phil reacts. <laughs> I think we all know that. He's got outs now, the ace and the ace. Nine just ended, though. That's a nice card. On the other side, if this hand holds up, Phil Helmuth, 160,000 he'll have? Wow, that's a lot of chips for him. Nice one. Thank you. All oh, right, this is what it feels like to get over 100,000 in the Premier League. Roly. Dizzy heights. I like it. Dizzy heights. I've got altitude sickness, huh? No, I won't get altitude sickness. But it feels good. I mean, I don't mean. You'll be off Pass. the bottom tonight. That is very Probably. true. In fact, if Phil Helmuth grabs six or ten points here, JC, he's right he back in like this Premier 90? League. Yeah. Yes. I mean, any of these guys, if they grab, if they grab a victory here, they're right in. Yeah, absolutely. 
Do you want a count? No, roughly. Uh, how, how is Andy's stack size going to affect Phil's raise size here? Well, Phil wants to know if he, if he did move all in and uh, and he end up doubling up Andy. Is he left with enough uh, chips to maneuver? And if he, and if he's, he doesn't have enough chips to maneuver, then he's probably end up just going to call here and see a flop and play it. So he, he's somewhere between limping and making a raise size big enough so that he has to call the re-raise like? Yes, yes. yes. Call. And he's decided to limp. For me, it's a tough decision. He doesn't know how to play when it's full handed. And he probably had a few more chips than he thought. And he's got about 110, and Phil's only got 160. So. <laughs> Is he right about that, JC? With the rest of the world raised there? Um, The rest of the JC Tran world will probably raise there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to raise about seven, eight more. Nine thousand pass. And oh. that quick call there. This is this is about keeping the pots. It's, I mean, there's some similarities to the flop that the Devilfish went out on. Like Duan could have anything here, and and Helmut doesn't want to go broke. Oh wow, oh boy. look at this card. Is that is that why he called though? I mean, he kind of thinks he's ahead, but doesn't want to raise to find yeah, out. Yeah, I'm I'm sure he, he believes he has the best hand, but he doesn't want to overplay it and leave her uh, a, a, a chance to you know, raise him out of the pot. But uh, with this turn card, they might try to represent the straighter, the flusher, and fire again. This is, you know what Helmut's saying to himself, I finally got this little pest. I finally got him. 23,000. Oh, let's see the acting job. <laughs> is there a reason for Helmut to make a little teeny raise here? To in case you know, Durr's got like a big spade or something like that, or you, you, no, you prefer to call. No, because you definitely there's going to be more hands that Durr's going to fold than uh, than call with or even re-raise with. I mean, this is pretty much the nuts. I mean, yeah, you're not going to be afraid of a quads or straight flush here. So, quick play is just to call and and, and let Durr either catch up or try to bluff again in the river. He raised forty-six. Min, it's a min raise. a tough spot for Tom because you know it's such a small raise he's wondering if, if his straight draws any good but Pass. you know he he knows that Phil's not going to really goof off against with him you know right now so the fold there is, is, is the right play well these guys better watch out because Phil Helmuth picking up steam and that face that's the dangerous one this has been one of the most exciting new developments of the Premier League season. Two players who think they're the greatest. One has had the mantle for 30 years. The other being heralded as poker's new star. Tom has to prove himself. He's 22 years old. He's a great player. We all know he has a great amount of talent. But he has to prove himself. You know, don't start talking to me about whether a guy's a great player when they're 22. I think Phil is obviously pretty confident of his game because of the results he's had. I'm not sure if he believes he really is the best player in the world. He should know, you know, that I've been ruling the Hold'em world for 20 years. But I don't think he recognizes that. An ego obviously is going to cloud your judgment sometimes and make people play bad. We're like in the Old West right now, man, and I've been the fastest gun in the West for about 15 years. Boom, 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 boom. Now we're going to find out how fast can these young guns draw. Because now I'm here, both guns fully loaded, ready to go. Right now, the, the pots have mostly been between Helmuth and Duan. They've got the chips. And I mean, JC, even though Andy and Roland, obviously, they're capable of playing fast. They'd rather play fast. Because of their chips and the tactics, is what they're doing smart? Yes, they're doing the right thing because uh, you know, they see the two, two of the big stacks are going at it. You know, go ahead and let them. And they're hoping one of them breaks and busts. And, uh, you know, that's when they sneak up in the point standing. But I mean, they're they're not gonna. You know, I mean, if they wake up with a, uh, a premium hand, I mean, they're gonna get in there. They're just gonna not, not gonna blind their way off. Helmuth limping from the button again. It's it's relentless the way he's doing it. I mean, if you can say it's relentless limping, it is. And we're three ways. He's doing it because he's anticipating a raise from Tom, and he and, and he he's, he'd rather call a small raise to see a flop than to call a big re-raise. Okay. 
check. What's out there, 18? Yes, 18,000. So let's make it 19,000. 19,000. Oh, interesting over bet. I mean, it's one of these bets where, you know, if, if anyone the, and one of them are going to raise, they're going to have to put in at least forty to 50000 So it's not a bad bet so at all. What, what do you have roughly count? And he could easily have an ace there. I mean, everyone yes, knows I mean, he's doing a lot of limping, right? Yes, he, yeah, he limped last time with the ace 10. It's a perfect reds, spot there to bet. No. No reds? No reds? Okay. I mean, at this stage, no one's really going to risk fifty or 60000 just to just try to win a, a dead pot out there. 178. That would have been a good time for you to have, like, ace king. They all lie. See, he's trying to he's trying to tell Durr that, that he had a hand. So the five seven of spades or something like that. No, no, no. I was re-raising you. I was gonna re-pop it. All of it. He was pop gonna say on twenty. Hand, I was gonna wait for Andy to fold. Is that, is that <laughs> green belt level poker? Brown belt. What can I do? I'm Brown belt. <laughs> well, does someone know what belt is? <laughs> I think rolling and smelling a little BS from Phil. Yeah. You like that, huh? Raise. 15,000 pesos. Six Price. plus nine. All in. And that shows a pretty good awareness from Roland. Uh. Yeah, this, uh, I mean, four-handed, you know, and, and, and ace, pretty count? strong. I don't think I need one. I think I can just hold. I just want to think for a second. With rolling his so stack, I, almost I any like ace against Tom's button, button raise, it, it, it should be a, a sh an all-in. I, mean, I know you built the stack up like that, planning you could shove. But I still got to fold, I think. I don't know. Nice. He wasn't getting a great price there, was he? I mean. Yeah, see, the one thing I like about Tom here is he actually thought about the hand, you know, and did a little analyzing and, uh, you know, had, had fold running across his mind earlier, you know, he acted real fast and called Phil really fast and with the ace eight and you know, he probably realized afterward that, you know, it might have been better if he thought about it a little bit before he called. I think Phil Hellman's got the worst seat right now, just with Tom to his left and then, you know, Tom has Andy and Roland to his left, which is, you know, they're pretty tight right now and so Tom has the best seat in the house. And he's got about 15 big blinds. Raise to 15,000 total. Pass. Too much for an all-in, is it? Yes, yes. I mean, uh, it, it's an interesting hand because, you know, if he did make a raise, is he committed to call a re-raise? And, uh-oh, uh here goes Tom with the all-in. All in. Andy's going to have to do some thinking because Andy knows that. Oh, he's calling. Call. Wow, see, this is this is the reason why I'm not a big fan of the, the fast call, instant call. You know, I always like to think over and just just kind of do a little team. analyzing. Uh, you have four, yeah? Yeah. Now I have a Spades. <laughs> now I have a bad one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> How much did you leave the code off? No, no, it's all right. That is a terrible no, flop for Black's fours. He's he's, Club. He's, he's got a better shot of a split, basically. Yes, he's got 1% to win, and uh, this looks like... Uh, so that 1% is be being <laughs> rounded up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there oh, it wait, goes. Four? Running for it. the four clubs, yeah. He gained a percent. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> You're still like 1 in 200, isn't it? Four has got him into Big trouble in his last match, okay. too. And Black will take three wow. points anyway. Uh, Vital performance. Boards, it's it's deadly hand to play if you don't hit a set. <laughs> it's always sweet to have that super aggressive image and wake up with a big hand and, and get action. That's the second time I've kind of done something like that in the Premier League, and it's a mistake. And why I do it, I don't know. If I thought about it, you know, I would have mocked him, you know, but I didn't. So that's all I can say. <laughs> the four part popped out on the turn, of course. <laughs> Sick. Is it too easy to say that Should if you're I at the table with Phil Helmuth, no matter what he says, he, he means the opposite? I mean, Is that just care, too easy care. to think? I mean, I never care, Some people care. Yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, that's a good way to I look at know. it, but sometimes know, Phil right, might switch it up and chance, tell the I'm truth. Gonna... So, you know, I think you, you, you're better off just, just well, going with what's working and sticking to the hands you have and, you know, keeping Phil out of position. I'm funny, I'm trapping you. Yeah, you really like to be trapping.
Tom's played this ace tricky already. Yes, it is. And it's going to be very hard for Roland to put him on the ace limping there, especially he's raising a lot. Now he's going to lead out with it. Roland's really not going to believe that he has an ace. Do you still favor the, the call over the raise for Roland here? Yes, um, yeah, especially when you're in position. You know, make use of it. Call, see what he does in the turn. Play it safe. And if he fires again in the turn and you don't improve, it's, a, it's fine to fold there because you really haven't put, you really didn't put that many chips in the pot. I mean, Roland hasn't really had a chance to play many flops in this Premier League, but he, he loves post-flop play, and he loves tricky post-flop play. Yes, that's one thing that's good about Roland is he, uh, he doesn't overplay many hands uh, on the flop, after the flop, and, uh, you know, that's what uh, what makes him a good player. And, and you know, I like this, I like him to see more flops, and, you know, it's tough when, to try to see more flops when you're, like, trying to move up on the point standing. How does this, uh, he's checked it. Okay. And I mean, DeWolf's got the diamond now. I like the way they're both playing. They're both playing this hand because, uh, you know, uh, Tom's not checking a folder. He's checking to play it safe. And same with Roland. He's checking because, you know, he he still feels like he, there's a shot he has the best hand, and he has the redraw with the diamonds. Now he got he got there. So probably one of the cards Roland had in mind. Um, maybe the five of hearts would have been a slightly better card. I don't know. I really, I really don't think any of them can bet here. Check. There's no value bet here for Roland at all? No, because, you, you know, it's one of those situations where majority of the time, if you bet, you're only going to get called if you're beat. Yes. Good check by Roland. Flush. I mean, that is one of the few times that if you do it's bet, close. there's a chance Dura would call. If he if he really seriously didn't put you on diamond, hey, what, 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 hey, what? I might have been trapping. Do I get it right to see that? Is it back to us? I don't think you do. hundred percent. Down up, down up, and Tom Dwan back to first again. JC into this three way. Well, right. It's no you surprise know, to me. You, you know he he's, he's know, picking up a lot of dead happen, chips, right? uh, still in the blinds, and then here he goes Crazy. when he wakes up with a big hand. He gets action. Day ten. It's eighteen thousand total. Helmus made it 18 now. Now, if you can take this 18 away, Dur, that would get you, you know, a little closer. Or maybe you just give me 180. I okay. think Phil's giving away a lot of weakness when he's uh, talking to Dur in this, in this way. I think Dur is starting to peek him on the, the weakness yeah. that uh, Phil's giving away. Either that or, he, or he's a little bit on tilt. One of the two. 36,000 more. Plus. How much do you have left there, Dara? Pink color. It's, uh, the, the way the chips have gone all of a sudden, it's like Dara has nearly three, Helmuth has two, and Roland is a little more than one. I mean. Why don't we find out if you cover me or not? How much is it? It's like an exact count. Wow, Phil is probably sensing that Durr's uh, squeezing her and uh, maybe thinking about moving all in. Even if he has a slight read, it's just that at the end of the day, there's 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 too much of a reason to just wait for the next spot. If I have kings or aces, you wouldn't begrudge me taking all this extra time, right? I'm all in. Wow, strong play by Helmut. He made a good read and just going with it. Is that, is that pretty much the strongest play you've seen him make in the Premier League so far? Yes, so far, yes. I mean, that that is a huge play due to the fact that Roland is huh? sitting to his right with just about 100,000 in chips. And, and Phil's, if Phil folds there, he still has like over 150, 160,000 chips. So, wow, that, that's, that's a great read by Phil. What was it based on? What 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 turned the tide for Phil there? Look, he's chip leader now. I really don't know, but I wish I wish I could find out. Nice, Sam. Thank you. Welcome back to Premier League Poker. One of the three on this table, getting that ten points in the league standings. Race to sixteen thousand total. Phil Helmuth. Pass. Putting his fist down on the table and playing poker, and that ten points—you have to shoot for that ten, don't you? Yeah, I think that's his, his core right now. I mean, he's he's not just sitting there, 
letting Dur run over the table Check. and uh, you know, Check he's giving himself a shot to win. Phil does not want to see any diamonds here. getting bigger and I mean if you're Dwan here it, it, and you kind of you know you had to fold last time okay. with these dynamics it, you don't want to bet yourself off the draw right yes and you know this is when Tom is, okay. is, is a better player is when he's taking his time he's thinking he's not rushing anything this is when he's really deadly and this is when you need to really watch out for every move he makes The majority of the time he's thinking because he's actually analyzing a lot of there's some players out there are thinking just to Hollywood and kind of act like they got a big hand but I mean he he he's actually analyzing and he's thinking you know he's probably already played three streets in his head already and you know he's probably prepared for all three streets and he thinks this is the best move why it, it, you know, is it because that the, the king might have some value? Is it because he wants to bet fill off an ace? Is it because he wants to represent a pair? I mean, what, you know, is it just no, asking a question? He's check, he checked the flop to take the free card. And uh, I believe that if, 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 if Phil were to fire the turn, he, depending on the size of the bet, he's oh. probably going to fold. But he's, he's already planning the bet if Phil checks into him again because rarely does, does someone check twice into you and then raise you. So, um, you know, I, I like the way he played that. He's not going to be put down, Dwan. And uh, perhaps he's going to start to say to himself, you know what, keep it to the post-flop game. I don't need to play Helmuth too much in this pre-flop war, does he? Yeah, I mean... He's, he's playing position and, he, and he's taking his time. This is when he's he's at his best. I'm surprised he feel folded there. He's got two overs in a gut shot. I mean, you know. It just it's just this. They're both shifting in their seat. You feel like the game is on. I mean, obviously Roland is like the third wheel on this date. You know, I mean, uh, he's Roland is just a spectator right now with chips, and he's. Uh, you know, he's just waiting for a good spot, and he's playing it smart. I mean, these guys are battling. He's like the uncle they all want to get rid of so they can just get on the couch and start kissing or something. You know, I mean, <laughs> like on a date. <laughs> as long as Roland's around, they're not going to be able to play. <laughs> cool. See, they both have respect for Roland's raise. I mean, Phil insta with the king nine, which is usually pretty strong in a three-handed game and holding the chip lead. Tom has a pretty big hand, but I mean, he, he definitely wants to see a flop because he respect Roland for not folding to a re-raise. Yeah. They're just not going to give Roland a cheap double up, are they? Yeah, they're probably going to make him work for it. And, I mean, is, is the wolf between making a continuation bet and giving up, or is there something more to it? Um, I, I think he wants to make a continuation bet, but he's afraid of, of uh, getting raised. So he's trying to figure out the right amount to where if Durr re-raises, it's, it's, it's going to be for sure that Durr has a big hand and it doesn't cost rolling too much. Nineteen thousand. It look a good size to you? Yeah, I like that bet. It's it's you know it's not a weak bet. It doesn't look too strong. It's just one of those bets where you kind of have the opponent lost. You really can't put a read on exactly what you have. You know, JC. I mean, for all the sort of uh, banter and bluster that was going on earlier this heat, just get the feeling right now that we're we're about to see some really good poker from here on out. Not that we haven't seen good poker already. But that, uh, yes, yes. I, I, you know, like as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, when we're gonna get down to three-handed and especially heads up, it's gonna be really quiet, not a lot of talking, because I mean, now every pot you're losing is gonna be a big pot. So I really don't think anyone has has the humor now to laugh and joke around. He 
these two haven't played many pots. It's it's always been the wolf against Dwan, Helmuth against Dwan. And it's not a huge stack Roland has, but it's I guess it's the biggest stack he's had tonight. Yeah, I mean it's still oh. a little bit intimidating due to the fact that that is his biggest stack of the night. I mean he's played a short stack so well that when he has a stack of you know above what he started with, it actually looks like a big stack. Both missed this one wide. Check. I wonder if that's given Roland more of a reason not to try and steal it now. Seven on the turn. Check. 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 Not much that hand, was there? No, I mean, uh, I think Rolling wasn't going to fold the turn if Phil bet because, you know, Phil, if he had a king or a ten, he probably would bet the flop. So when the seven hit, Rolling felt like, you know, he had the best pair, but he's not going to bet and get raised, so he'd rather check call. And uh, once Phil checked the turn, he, he, he didn't feel like he needed to steal a small small pot there, so. <laughs> Rolling's happy. He was calling a lot today. We, we tilted him up before the show. Know. Chips have never been so close, JC. I, I mean, who would you online. make a favorite and why? Oh, no, 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 right I now, I still no, like no, 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 no. Tom's really chances just because yeah, he has position there. on Phil. Yeah, he I mean, he, he sh he's shown that he can slow yeah, down a little bit. Um, you, you can't count Phil or Roland out of it because nice. Roland's playing he really solid. And nice. Phil, Phil's not getting out of line. I mean, he's making good reads on Tom right now, so it's actually slowing Tom down. So right now, I really think it's anyone's game. But right. you like the fact that Tom's just sort of picking up more pots than the rest of them. He's still picking up all those small pots, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, uh, those are one that are so key. People over overlook those small pots. I mean, they, they they tend to give on the small pots a lot. And those are the ones that, you know, adds up slowly. And then next thing you know, you, you see the guy yeah, catching up to you and, and you're giving up your lead. This is the best flop for Roland that didn't include a six, I'm guessing. He's uh, he, he just checked behind uh, Dwan on the flop. And now roll, uh, Tom's bet into him. Yeah, this is going to be another interesting hand right here. Are there more reasons for Roland to just call here and keep the pot small or, or raise for value? I mean, um, I'm, I'm a fan of, of keeping it small, especially he, he has position on him. And if and if he's going to raise, he's got to be ready to go with it if, uh, right. if uh, Tom re-raises. Pretty big re-raise he's made here. It's uh, it's nine plus sixteen. Is, is Tom capable of getting away from this, or is uh, this? A yeah, really, I mean, yeah? he's capable of getting away from it, but you know, he's also capable of moving all in. But I, right now, I kind of feel like he, he might fold here. Wow, cool. interesting. He that decided to just see what happens, or what? Yeah. That, you didn't expect you know that. What? He's, he might be looking for a bluff card here. Right. That's not okay. too scary of a card for Roland. Tom, Tom believes that Roland is made, not drawn. So Tom probably thinks that there's a lot of drawn cards out there. If the straight card got there or the flush card got there, Tom can probably fire out. A reasonable size bet and win doesn't really have to go all in so it's a tough it's a tough spot especially when you're out of position I, and, and and right here rolling i mean i think he the only bet he can make here is probably just all in well he's got geez i think roland has got about a hundred and thirty thousand there well let's see yeah oh wow and the pot's only 60. he's only put 30 in here there might be a check by rolling here Dangerous, especially with the with the amount of chips he has. Oh, yeah. oh wow! You uh, you, it, it was it was an awkward stack. You kind of said the all in was best because you can't be raised all in then, and this is a a double pot like it's double the size of the pot. This all in, it's massive. Yeah, it, it's it's. I mean, it's a tough stack and a tough pot size. I mean, I'm gonna feel dumb if I'm wrong, but. I really don't want to fold. Big moment here. Obviously, I mean, if Duan calls, you can see by the percentages, 
He's he's gonna be slaughtered in this. Oh, I hope it's right. I call two sixes. Oh. Man, Jesus, nice hand. Wow, that's so odd. Nice hand. Look at that, buddy. Is that for value? Yes. Nice hand. This is huge for Roland the Wolf. Tom Dwan's gonna be left with like no chips. Right. And I got you got me. Uh, I should be. He, Tom says he's he's really impressed with the way Roland played this. That he's actually kind of tricked him. Nice hand. Forty. He's won twenty-three hands, JC, but uh, down to thirty-six thousand now. Look at that bet frequency for Dwan, seventy percent. And that one big pot, wow. Look at who's the chip leader now. Yeah. The Wolf must be feeling great right now about this Premier League, about this match. And for Dwan, I mean, just what you said, JC, you know, it, you'd rather make you'd rather make the wrong lay down than the wrong oh, call. Right oh. now, Dwan, he's down to 36,000. It's Oversville, really. Yeah, but you know what? Don't ever count Tom out. I mean, he's the type of the guy that can just make a huge comeback right away. I mean, he's 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 known in his career to make huge comeback, cash games or tournaments. So uh, I mean, even if he has thirty thousand, it can look like a hundred, hundred fifty thousand really quick. Well, it's going to look like seventy-five or nothing uh, after the next five cards. Oh, uh, Helmuth called quickly from the big blind. The all-in from Dwan on the button, and. Uh, Actually, Tom, don't mind this because, you know, he's, he has two live cards. It's not a very good flop. Turn like a nine. Or an eight. Nine clubs. No, no club. <laughs> Red nine or eight. It's a club. Helmus got clubs or the ace. I'm thinking four clubs. And Dwan lives. Well, Helmut's probably upset, but he's not really too upset because uh, he didn't lose too many chips there. I mean, I think it was about oh, thir sorry. 30k. Yeah. My bad. Exactly that. He's dying to say something, but you know, he's holding it back because he's pretty satisfied with, you know, what's happening in the last couple of hands as far as God, it's really hard losing to, like, all try his to, to make a big decision in like a effective 10k line sit and go. Probably playing. The, the guys have have really clammed yes. up, haven't they? They're just going to let him sort of wallow in it. Stew, as it were. What do you have, 72? It should be 75, I'd assume. Yeah. Oh. It's like you said, oh. all of a sudden, now he's, he's actually got... The right. double up is giving him kind of a dangerous stack all of a sudden, yeah. hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I just get the feeling, JC. You know, the, the way you're, the way I'm. There he goes. Looks oh. like he's gonna make a. Oh yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna dark about this one time. He's, you know what? Tom might even think his jack high is good here because he really can't put Phil on an ace, or 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 or, or betting a king on that flop, limping with the ace free, or betting dark a king bet, on the flop. Maybe. The last time Phil did these dark bets, he, he actually had something. I did. Blinds hitting five and ten thousand, and Dwan's obviously only got six big blinds. I mean, he's, is he moving here most of the time from the button? Oh, yeah, he's probably going to move on any random two right here because this is the best spot. Well, I don't need much, I'll tell you that much. There's a queen I almost just have to call. Yeah, it's kind of hard to fold a queen there. Probably pretty good hand for Dwan as far as his 8-9 suited, as far as his range went, for what he would move with. Yeah, that's actually, and it turned out to be a pretty good hand. In the first card, you look at that, it's a 9. Well, all right, I call. Cool. It's queen something, Phil <laughs> says. It looks like queen 4 or queen 5 for him. Well, I need to show queen that. 7. I know yeah, you I have to call there with his stack. Queen high. That's not true. I thought you would. You raise my blind every time anyway, so. It's a little different, that's not true. Look at that. It's almost 50-50. It's still a flip. Wow. 
I guess it is still a lot of outs for Tom Seven Vaughan. Wow, 50-50. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. Roland's loving this either way, isn't he? No, you're perfect. No, he's perfect. Trail of five would be good. Green. Good game, guys. Good game. Four he's points sweat. for Tom Dwan. He's been he's, uh, he's been the action he's since he's look. been here. Yeah. And uh, the order as well. you know he's he's going to be well yeah. in the thick of this Premier oh, yeah. League table. Yeah. <laughs> the nine fives, I don't know. I mean, obviously, what I thought was going through Roland's head was way off. I don't. I have no clue what was going through Roland's head even after the fact now. But whatever I thought was definitely way off. So I, I wish I had known a little better, but didn't really have many much info. So. That's all I got. Well, the we pressure on was on for these two players, and they no, have responded that. now, yeah, down to two. And, and on one hand, content. Roland DeWolf, yeah, exactly. he played the very steady game, JC, to get here. Can, and Phil Helmuth say, came to play to poker, me. and he you has. Say, but they both want these extra four points, don't they? Yes, they do. Um, they both lose. came with a uh, different and hold your card game plan. Roland came playing really tight. Phil came in mixing it up, playing, you know, hands here and there. And, you know, and here they are, their heads up. And they're both very happy to see Tom go out there because Tom was giving them a lot of trouble and he was very hard to, to read. And now these guys feel like they're, they're easy to read. So, I mean, it's going to be an interesting matchup. Who loves you, baby? Really? You had 9 5? You really no. What's your baby. philosophy, heads up, JC? I mean, you've been so oh, yeah. successful. Oh, Obviously, even though you, you, you've already won two matches, you, you nearly made a, a miracle comeback you, against baby. Peter Eastgate. I'm always a big fan of keeping the pot small. You know, I mean, sometimes the, the oh. structure don't allow you to no do race. so. But when, you know, oh, when no the race. blinds are uh, reasonable, I, I keep the pot small and uh, just kind of chip this away, no trying to pick up as many dead pots as I can. Well, these two have both played in uh, every Premier League, JC. I don't Check. think they've ever met head Check. up. It's, it's been like two years since Phil won a eight. Then it'll be interesting. They don't know too much about each other's heads up game. 14,000. Thinking about a raise? Is is a raise better than a call? Yeah, you know, at first he he he, he, he sensed weakness from uh, Roland and he was going to raise, but I mean, it seemed like he was going to back down and fold, and now he's considered raising again. You got to ask the question. I might answer it, but you got to ask it. Phil claims he's the best at getting a read off people. Okay, so you buy into that a little bit, or? Well, I haven't really played right. with Phil too much, right. no. So I mean, uh, so so far tonight he's making some Coach good reads. So well. obviously, I mean, he's pretty good at it. Pass. <laughs> he is on. This is the second time he's he's good done night. it. I mean, Thank you. is it is it as advertised? Phil Helmuth here to play some poker. Yes, I mean, right now, he, he his confidence level is at his highest. I mean, heads up with a decent amount of chips. Earlier, he was a little bit shook when, you know, he he, he was uh, he had uh, dirt to his left. But nice. now, yeah. he's heads up, and this is where he's comfortable. And uh, he's talking a little more with a smile. You can see he's relaxed, and uh, he's making his reads are sharp. So, But he says, now we're going to play some poker. That's, that's it. But, I mean... Uh, Roland's Roland's raised his game to the level it's been needed every at every oh, moment, hasn't he? No raise. Yes, a bit surprising. You thought Roland's gonna fold his way to maybe you know third or fourth place, but then picked up a couple of hands and you know now he's ha he's got the chip lead. Check it. Check. Check. Playing very fast, quick decisions. Twenty thousand pass. I think, you know, when w there's certain situations where, you know, you play fast now we're even. and, and, now and we the pots even. are small, it's fine. Now we got a game. But when the pots are big, you know, I always recommend taking some time to think it over. Even if even if you know you're folding, just think, think, think it through a little bit. Welcome back to Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. We're playing down to one. Cool. 
Yeah. Look at here. Maybe it oh, was the wow. Yeah. And we I mean, do not want to see these, do we? <laughs> check, check. It was almost like Helmuth has been expecting Roland to start raising from the big blind, and Roland didn't fall for it. Or yeah, no, check. but um, Helmuth, you know, he just want to see a flop in position with good hands, and he doesn't seem like he's really the interested in just stealing the blinds right now because the blinds are still fairly low. I mean, oh. later on when the blinds are a little higher, then he might come in raising a little more, but. And Roland's calling here because he thinks the ace might be good, right? And he has a wheel draw up. There he goes. Check. Wow. Check. Check. Ace full. Good check. Oh. Roland's a bit yep. disappointed there. Do we, right. a, do we get a speed share? It's a shame. Just a small speech by Phil. <laughs> <laughs> well, he played it well. That's a shame. If an ace comes on the flop, I think it's over. I don't think there was any other way he could have won the hand. <laughs> that might be good enough to get away. Even with the raised pre-flop, even with the better than the flop, there, I don't think there was any way he could have won the hand. Phil. I know one thing you were thinking about raising before the flop. I saw you hesitate. On the river, I was thinking about raising. You were thinking about raising before the flop, and uh, I knocked over some chips by accident. I may have stopped you. Raise it. Raise. <laughs> 25,000. Well, it shows it. Phil is alert, and he's seen little things like that. Oh. Everything. When you're down there, you've been down there. Too. I mean, you see everything, don't you? Yeah, you, you know, sometimes you get carried away when you're talking and stuff, Check. but when you're not talking, Check. you're focusing on the player, you see little things that's going to help along the way. You just kind of feel like it's all, you're all alone out there, huh? just you and the other guy. Fifty thousand and the wolf. I guess thinking about the continuation bet. Is it a good spot for one? Oh yes, you have to follow through. You, by checking, you give yourself no shot to win. Thirty thousand. Helmuth. Pass. Dangerous board that one. You notice their heads up now, and they're not really chit-chatting too much. They're only talking about hands. They're not joking about anything else. It's getting really serious. I don't care that much. I mean, we'll, we'll have our hands shuffled. Something's all right with me. I was curious, though, what the ruling would be. Cool. 20 more. Raise 20,000 more. Cool. All right, Roland. A little bit of juice. Yeah. There's another Although raise you, you from the wolf, sorry, from the big blind, JC, and, and Helmuth's called this. Well, Helmuth is, is kind of opening up a little bit. I mean, he's pretty much tired of the wolf raising a lot now, and he's trying to call and make a stand. But I'm not sure what he's looking for with this hand. Just so there were some times in, in your match when you kind of made a similar sort of play on the button, and you did... You made a play at the pot nearly every time against Eastgate. I mean, is it the kind of thing where when you do this sort of thing, you have to be prepared to make a play? Yeah, I mean, when you when you raise on the button and you take control of, uh, of, the, of the hand and you're the one showing strength, you know, you, you always have to follow through, even if you hit or don't hit. I mean, you, you're going to have to mix it up, throw your player off. Raise. raise. I mean, Phil must have a good read on, on Roland because he's, he's making the right raises so far, what we've seen heads up. I mean, this is a pretty sick Which raise, isn't it? Yeah, I guess he didn't give uh, Roland any credit for an ace here. Pass. And that's just, I mean, uh, by my count, Phil has made this sort of play three times tonight, and every time he has just been so right. Yes, Love and that's that, huh? really strong. I mean, not often are you going to make plays like that at the pot, and for you to do it and be right every single time, I mean, that's, that's that why he's still here. We were talking about the Asian poker tour before, JC. I mean, is this is that the next place, Asia, where we're actually going to start seeing a lot of the new All poker right. superstars come out of, like Scandinavia, you know, and different parts of yes, Europe? Yes, hopefully, because, you know, I, I mean, I came over there and I played in Macau, and I thought it was going to be a walk in the park, but you know what? These guys, they, they're they very familiar with Check. the game. Check. And... Check. and 
very knowledge knowledgeable about the game. I mean, they, I, 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 I ran into some really good players and some good young players. So, you know, if Poke blows up in Asia, you're going to see some superstars coming out of there. Check. This has gone checked all the way. And it's starting to feel like the wolf is. Oh, it's been oh. nuts for okay. Helmuth. There goes the gin card for Helmuth, but Chase he's not going to make any money on that. Are you just starting to feel like, you know, Hel uh, the wolf's a little bit in the box where he's just temporarily put off uh, making plays, if you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, he's not really short, but he feels like he is short because Phil has him almost two to one. And uh, he's just playing a little more cautious now because uh, he, he doesn't have too much room to raise or re-raise with just any random hand. He's, he's definitely got to pick up some hands here. Cool. And right now, Phil's winning the battle okay. of, uh, of winning all the dead pots, so that, that also helps to his stack. Phil Check. doesn't have a Check. huge lead, but 10, it just feels like he's outplaying cool. Roland here. Uh, you make him a favorite right now? Yeah, I believe uh, he might be. Yeah, he should be a favorite with the stack and Check. with the way he's playing and the reads he has. Check. And, and the wolf is just trying to show down now at this stage with the queen. He might put in a value bet here, but. Phil's making a defensive bet. Rice, oh, value race. <laughs> <laughs> Sort of based on prince. You, you gotta do that on principle, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a good bluff. <laughs> yes, it would have been, but it simply wasn't. <laughs> that would have been an amazing bluff, considering that I obviously had something. <laughs> We're not that far away from when the blinds are going to hit 7 and 15, JC. I mean, I, I guess that's going to just sort of, uh, you know, that's going to take the game to a, to a more progressive more. level. Or yeah, I'm going to predict that the 7 15 level might end play. First hand you raise is a heads up. 7 deuce. I mean, obviously, he, he's. He's thinking about the big re-raise. Is there an argument for not re-raising? No, he's, he's going to have to re-raise. I just didn't like the fact that he's he's uh, letting Phil know that I'm noticing that that's the first raise. So basically telling Phil, yeah, I believe you're strong here, but I'm going to go ahead and re-raise you because I think I'm stronger. Re-raise all in. Right. Count it. And... It just doesn't feel like Phil has come this far to call. I mean, it wasn't a big raise he made, mm -hmm. right? He hasn't come this far to just. No, Phil Style has been chipping away, winning them small pots, you know, playing flops. He's, he's most likely not gonna call here. I mean, two hundred thirty-six thousand more. Uh, I just can't see him making that call. Not call. Oh, oh wow. my gosh! Good hand. What? Wow, this is this is. It got a false tell, didn't it? Let you bluff me a bit, and then when the money goes in, I have the best time. And as you said, JC, you'd always rather make a bad lay down than a bad call like this for all your chips, right? Yes, absolutely. I apologize in advance. It's not coming this time. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, <laughs> river. did you hear what he said? Wow. He said he apologized in advance. That's yeah. what you call instincts right there. Unbelievable. He felt it coming and he apologized ahead of time. Huge stuff. Let's take a look at how this affected the league standings. Wow. Well, we're now halfway through the league season and this final table starting to take shape. JC Tran running away with it. But Tony G, not a bad performance tonight in there in 14 points. In the playoff zone, there's been big movement with tonight's result. 
Phil Helmuth, that win puts him right in the thick of it. How about the poker, Brat? As Roland DeWolf, not far away, joined seventh along with Tom Dwan, who took a third. In the relegation zone, Annette Overstadt needs to get things moving. And Andy Black will be a little bit disappointed with his finish tonight. And the Devilfish, what can you say? His back's against the wall, and he needs to come out fighting. Proud of the way I played. I bluffed. Durr has been bluffing me for a couple of heats and messing with me. And I don't think he had any idea what, he, what I was going to do to him today. And I felt really good, and I never showed any of my bluffs. You know, I just pretended I had it every time and just mucked my hands. But there's a reason why I won 11 world championships. I'm not going to lay down to, you know. And, and I give Durr a lot of credit, but he's 22. He thinks he's the best player already in the world. And he may well be someday. He's a great player. But he hasn't seen me play poker yet. And uh, I'm proud of the way Roland played. Roland rivet again, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, this is becoming a theme. It's, uh, I don't want to cock back to the bad beats, but it's the third three out of three where I've had my money in with the best of it and uh, the rivers hit me every time. Next time, Phil Helmuth will be back, and he's ready for more in an explosive game. How in the hell does this keep happening to me in this freaking league? It's unbelievable. You are 22, right? Lock the door. That's how you do it. Now we got a game. <laughs> got you guys all dominated right now.